and welcome to Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment. My name is Tahir Ayi Qureshi. I'm a fellow of Rose Statue of Canada, broker of record for City Pro Realty in Brokerage. My passion is real estate and your success is my priority. We started the Realty Coffee Talk program on Awaz TV, TV on May, uh, Ma, uh, March 5th, 2020 during co uh, COVID. So tonight's top show is about real estate assignments, sales, and challenges. We're going to touch base a few of these things. Uh, on real estate assignment, I have requested one of my friend lawyer to come and talk to you a little bit more in the legal terms. I'm going to talk about general things that affect you. But before I talk about these things, I have a good news for you. I am a director of Park Home Builders, and we became a tenant registered builder and vendor. That means, remember, I have a show about buy it or build it, choice is yours, we can help. Now I can help you to build your dream home. If you own a lot, you come to me, I will have you build this house custom home in the province of Ontario, particularly in GTA area. If you are looking to buy, uh, you can't buy something that you like, you want a custom build, you come to me. I'll buy you a lot that you like and then help you to build it because my uh, um, uh, company, the Park Home Builders, are tenure register. I am the director and senior vice president. So good, good news for you. So if you are looking to buy a custom house or build your custom home, or you're a developer, you need someone to build your house for you, we'll provide tenure warranty for your custom home. So reach out to me. My cell number is 416-451-3489, -4 or call my office, 905-785-9923, and let's bring your dream to a reality. Let's talk about assignment. And what is assignment and how it works? Because this is a very interesting subject because lots of people are buying the property and they're flipping it. There is issues in terms of what you can buy and you can, uh, you can ship, uh, sell. So when you buy a property and you sell it before closing, it is called assignment. So what is the assignment? of contract. An agreement of purchase and sale is negotiated with the buyer, with the builder, or buyer or seller in the resale market. In that contract, there is a clause there, assignment clause. It depends on how the clause is written. It allows the buyer the right to reassign that right to a future buyer who will close the deal. So basically, the person who has the assignment, who's assigning it, will not be closing that deal. So this is very important to have that right, and then how it works. So in real estate, let's assume you have an agreement of purchase and sale, and it's a regular resale, and then before you close it, for some reason you decided not to close the deal, you are able to reassign that. But depending on what wording has been issued uh, is written in the agreement. And similarly, if you are buying from a builder and you are reassigning, similarly, there are some restriction. Some restriction, if the builder will say, I have to sell 90% of my sale before I allow the assignment. They can also a restriction on it. You can advertise the social media or MLS. You can go to a direct buyer and sell it and take that agreement to the builder, and some builder will charge money, $10,000, $15,000, plus about $1,000 for lawyer fee. So you have to pay in addition to that, and you have to watch what is included in the price, what are the upgrades are done. There are also, you know, deposit that has been made. So you, it, you have to negotiate. There is a Schedule B in a agreement purchase and sale for assignment or reform which you have a tribe member and, uh, and also Misaga board member are using. So this is very important to look through that. We're going to have a lawyer come back and talk to us. And, uh, and always, is the question is, is 
assignment agreement is enforceable under law. Obviously, if it's a legal thing, it's legally done and is assigned to someone legally, then it's enforceable. And obviously, depend on it, the person who assigned it is his or her responsibility is, uh, is removed after transferring or assigning the deal. These are the things we have to check. Some of them will not allow it until the property closes, whether it's the builder or the assignment. Now, what are the basic rights? In contractually, it's illegal to assign most of these contracts to, to a, another person before closing. But the terms of the clause has to be written. I always suggest to consumer as well as to realtors to talk to the lawyer to make sure the clause is, is well written for the intended purpose. What is the purpose of that assignment? Sometimes you assign the, if you are a businessman and you bought the property, you want to assign it, you will have a, a clause in there. Maybe you want to have an incorporated business that you want to assign to a corporation business or depending on is a commercial or residential. You must have everything written, and then you want to make sure that you're, you are relieved of all uh, responsibility, and you are released from all responsibility, and you pass it on to the buyer, the future a new, a new buyer. So these are very important. Why, why people use this? Because there's two reasons. Because they don't want to close the deal. If they already know they have made up a good enough money, what is the purpose of motivation to close it? Because they already know they have already achieved uh, the, the benefit. So they want to close it. But you have to remember two things very important. One is called flipping. Basically, before closing the deal, an assignment deal, you are flipping it. So flipping it, that means you are making the money and it's not being reported. Now, this is why it's very important now for the lawyers and all those parties involved, that you going to declare that income and make sure that, there's a, that the money that you made is declared. I think when you're dealing with the builders, they are declaring it because they are assigning it. The CRA get kind of a report from them, how many people flip the, flip the deal so they can go after them. So be smart, pay your money. If you make money, you owe it to, the, uh, to Canada. Make the, pay, pay the money, pay the taxes. And obviously, you need to consult with your chartered accountant and CPA to tell you how it will benefit you, whether you are just a, a one-time assignment guy or, or you're doing a repeat business because they will treat your capital gain as an income business very differently. So this is why it's very, very important for you to talk. We're going to have a lawyer to come and hopefully a HR accountant to come and join us when we talk about uh, this episode. The other thing is we just had recently uh, a, a episode on how to reduce stress in real estate. This involved consumer as well as realtors. During this pandemic, we have seen ups and downs. We have seen multiple bidding going on. There was a short of supply and big challenges we have. And people, some of them were successful, who were well prepared. They, they, they got their mortgage approval. They got the inspection done and they moved in successfully. We also have a situation where people lost their job and they have to handle with complexity of dealing with the stress. Some payment, some people lost their job, they couldn't pay the payment, government issued directive to lenders to ex provide six months relief. Everybody took advantage of that. This was a good thing. Now what happening is recently, the Bank of Canada started rating interest rate. And I, will, I have shared the information with you about what is going on in the marketplace. We have a tremendous escalation of prices during the pandemic, 2021, 21 to 22. But right now, there are two things that is hindering the sale or affordability are two things. Number one, off-sea rules, stress test. Stress test is 5.25%. 
they have built in 2% for stress test in case you have adjustment of interest rate most in most cases variable, you can handle it. The goal is not to go in default and you are able to get that uh, funding or you can sustain that trouble time. Not only we have that and once our mortgage rate that being offered were lower, lower, we were able to handle that. Now, remember last year I did a small mortgage uh, for five years. It was 1.59 or 1.69 for five year fixed. Right now, five year fix is 4.9%, more than double. If your mortgage was 2,500, a month, now you will be paying almost $6,000. Can you afford it? And that's the dilemma we have now in sale. Our sale was down. I'm going to repeat that if you have not shared. The TRAB report for May showed 38.8% reduction in sale from May to this May 2022. Sales are going down. If we compare to the prices of May 20 to May 22, 21 to 222, we went up 9.4 percent. It was uh, 1 million 108,124 average price in Toronto and GTA in 416905 area. But right now is 1 million 212. 806. So this is showing from last May to this May, she's still showing 9.4% increase. But this is it could be a deceiving. So I'm going to sh share with you, I think, repeat again, why, what's happening. So this is important for you to remember. In March of 2022, we, our average price in 901, 905 and 416 was $1,333,399. But from February to March, it went to 1.3 million. So we lost $33,000 reduction in average price in GTA. From March to April, it went further down from 1.3 million to 1 million 253. So Roundabout, we lost $47,000 again from March to April. And, and, and also in April to May, the price went down $1,212,806. That's another reduction of $41,000. So approximately, you're talking about $133,000 reduction from February to May. We still have yet to see the report. So this is a kind of deceiving when we compare prices to the 2021 to 2022, but we are declining in 2022 and our sale is going down too. These are the challenging. Now here is the biggest challenge that is going on right now is that People who have negotiated a buying and selling in January and February time frame, or even even March, their appraisal is coming down much lower based on the house. Remember, these are average prices available through GTA, through Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. It does not include its data or Mesaga data. It may be some listing here and there, but there is a always variation of five to ten percent missing from this report. But what happened now is that you bought a house for one point five million dollar in February, and you took a longer closing because you you didn't want to sell uh, your house first. You want to buy first. Because this is, we always tell, please buy your house, sell your house first. I was with my sister-in-law the other day, and she mentioned to me, their neighbor bought a property in North for 
amount which is much higher. And now they were expecting a good price for their house is in Milton. And their property is not sold yet. And they have other one closing coming and their property is not sold because they thought they will buy it first and sell it later. Now they are in this predicament that they bought the property and they haven't sold their property. And the property based on what she told me, approximately 300 to 350,000 decline in the price range that she, they have this property. So what happened? Who's going to pay for that loss? And still you have to sell it and you bought a property in another place. These are the challenges. This is the only property that has not been sold yet, but they bought it. What happened if you bought it and you sold it, but when the bank will go to get an appraisal, why do they get appraisal? Because there is so much uncertainty in the marketplace. The hype is over. We have more property now in the market than what we have before. This in, in May, we have more listing than we have in, in the past in April. Now, if you have closed the property and there is a $300,000 gap, what you do? This is where the challenge is. If you don't have a contingency plan, this is why it's very important. You talk to the fellow of Rural Institute of Canada. I'm FRI. I'm a CIPS. I'm a CRES. Most prestigious designation of Rural Institute of Canada and CIPS from NAR. We're well educated. We are prepared to understand complex issues. We have, we're mentoring, educating, and leader in real estate. We can help you to solve the problem. So when you won't foresee the future, and this is where the mistakes are done, people don't analyze the data, they don't watch the trend. This is why it's very important to look at these data and see where you are going. And then look at the budget. Remember, we have said that before, prepare your budget. By preparing your budget, you always have a contingency funds. You know, you have, when you want to select a property to buy it, you put an offer on it, you know that you're going to be spending $100,000, $200,000 to upgrade that. So let's happen that if you, if you have this challenge, you have this $200,000 set aside in your budget. For some reason, there is a fluctuation of the prices and your appraisal comes down because banks tell you in the letter of commitment when you remove condition. So it doesn't really matter at this moment whether you have an unconditional offer or you have a, 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 approve, a commitment from the bank. They will have the right to adjust or withdraw their offer of funding. Obviously, they get in trouble if they cause problem to a consumer. There are so many watchdogs and their process. But what they guarantee you is that they're going to check to make sure what money they're lending to you is right price. So what they do is a week, 10 days before closing, at your call, they will send an appraisal. Some bank will pay for, uh, pay for the appraisal. They send it to get an appraisal, and that is most recent. As you can see, the price has declining. So if you have a higher value, depends if $2 million or up or below $2 million or at any amount. So when you see the appraisal come back a lower than what they have approved you, would you think they will pay you, advance you the money based on the commitment? No. They will only give you money based on the recommendation of the new appraisal. If it's done in a transparent way, you cannot force appraisal. Appraisal, appraisal, Institute of Canada have their code of ethics. They're the person who appraise your property. They work with the banks and lenders. They're totally independent, very professional. They will conduct a very thorough job to make sure they give a, a, a conservative, in most cases, a conservative report and when they receive this report, they say, well, I gave you a proof of 1 million, 
but your appraisal came with nine hundred thousand dollars. So sorry, I only give you nine hundred thousand, or whatever twenty percent. Uh, they will keep it, and they will give eighty percent of the price. So they will give you based on that appraisal. Now you have a gap in between. How you going to bridge that? If you have a contingency plan, let's assume that you have set aside two hundred thousand dollars for your improvement, changing the hardwood, changing kitchen, changing uh, you know lights, fixture, appliances. So you have to now pick priorities. Now you already committed, so you have no choice but to close that deal. If you don't, you got a breach of contract, legal issues, and very difficult to deal with it. So you cannot walk away because you have a firm deal. And for example, if you have a deal now and you could not close it for some reason, what happened? You will for you end up with forfeiting your deposit. You will never get your deposit back. Number two, if the seller is going to put the property in the market to sell it, you know that is going going down. Therefore, if they have any loss and they can sell it, they will try to mitigate losses, try to expedite. Any difference between the price they sold to you or the price they're going to sell to somebody else, you will be you will be asked to pay that. They will take you to the court and get a judgment because you failed. You breached the contract. This is why it's very very important when you are buying and selling real estate. You talk to the senior people, professional. They are qualified. They can guide you to make sure you don't make mistake. And they talk about future because affordability is a big thing. It's not about just having a five percent down payment and and you take the uh, you know high risk mortgage from loan to value is five uh, to ninety five percent. You go to CMAC get the approval. That's the one stuff. The problem is the value of the property goes down and up. Then what happens? Where are the contingency fund to fill that gap? This is where. The bridging the gap in between these two prices is what is happening right now. There's lots of failures. People are challenging, and I humbly request to all home buyer and sellers, lawyers, realtors, everybody to cooperate, work, understand. We are all human. Things happen. There are something expected, and something is unexpected. But your legal commitment. To fulfill your obligation under the agreement of purchase and sale, there is no relief there. You have to do it. So, idea is borrow money from your family, friends, to fill the gap. You may end up selling it again. You may end up paying the termination, or you can get a variable mortgage in between. Let's assume you have a problem. You go to variable. That means you only pay three month interest. And you can sell the property. You don't lose your deposit. You don't lose your reputation. You don't redu- uh, ru- lose your credibility because you can buy back again. And then, obviously, you will risk will be calculated. It's not something that you want to take a risk. So we're going to be talking and continue our conversation. And we're going to take a short break. You're watching Realty Coffee Talk on Awards Entertainment in Canada around the world. So. Now it's fully renovated. Life catering, barbecue, tandoor, jalebiyan, fresh naan. Takrib aapke ghar mein ho ya ghar se bahar. Zok is providing full service now, and Zok has opened a new banquet hall, garden, even center. Aapka Zok dekhar log kahenge kya Zok hai aapka? Call right now nine zero five six two five seven seven eight six. Zok. Zok Walon ke liye. The team of two, just for you. Ahmad and Shala Jafri, the team of two, just for you, bringing you the world's largest Eid festival, July 2nd and from July 6th. Every day till Chandra at Maple Banquet Hall, Mrs. Saga. Fashion show, food, music, variety of stalls, free admission and parking. Call Shala at six four seven two seven three two three nine three. 
मुस्लिम वुमेन पर्नर्स आपकी खिदमत में लेकर आ रहे आउटडोर कार्निवाल जी हाँ आउटडोर कार्निवाल जहाँ बच्चों और बड़ों के लिए और जवानों के लिए भी बेतहा फन की चीजें मौजूद हैं दो और तीन जुलाई को मेंटोर कॉलेज मिसिस सागा में दोपहर बारह बजे से रात नौ बजे तक जारी और सारी रहेगा बच्चों के लिए तफरी सवारी फूल खूबसूरत कपड़े और खूबसूरत बलगुसा के स्टॉल भी शामिल होंगे जहाँ फ्री एडमिशन है फ्री पार्किंग है और जनाब बहुत बेहतरीन अपॉर्चुनिटी है की आप अपनी फैमिली सेलिब्रेट की आप आना मत भूलिएगा अपनी फैमिली और फ्रेंड्स को बता दिए डेट याद रखें दो और तीन जुलाई को दोपहर बारह बजे से लेकर रात के नौ बजे तक मेगा इवेंट में जरूर तशीफ लेकर KK Travel believe in providing everyone the first class customer service. We take care not only for your etiquette but dignity and respect as well. We are available for you any time on WhatsApp even while you are in Pakistan or any other destination. KK Travels guarantee lowest prices and are open to price match any airline. We are KK Travels under supervision of Gas Khan and 9053679433. or visit www.gaskhantravels.com siyasat se tijarat tak de sabse pehle ghabrana nahi taaleem se maishat tak aapke jeeb pe daka dalna jante hain sehat se sanat tak chor ghar mein aa chuka hai janab speaker hukumati ehwanon se chai khano tak koi nahi bach payega takrar se kaun kab कैसे क्यों जैसे सवाल बनते हैं मौजूद प्रोग्राम तकरार में देखते रहिए तकरार कनाडा से बरह रास्त समीना जबीन के साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे सिर्फ आवाज एंटरटेनमेंट पर डिक्सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और अप्लायसेस पिछले 16 सालों से खरीदारों की खिदमत कर रहे हैं हम लगातार चार सालों से खरीदारों की पहली पसंद बने रहने का अवार्ड हासिल कर चुके हैं हम किचनर्स बॉश वर्लपुल एल जी सैमसंग और जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक के ऑथोराइज डीलर हैं। फाइव स्टार खिदमत का लुत्फ लें। हम आप सभी को टीवी सबसे ज्यादा रियायती दामों पर देने की गारंटी देते हैं डब्ल्यू हमारी वेबसाइट पर जाएं या अभी कॉल करें नाइन जीरो फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव फाइव नाइन डबल जीरो सभी बहुत ही मुनासिब कीमत पर दस्तियाब हैं जो आप बा आसानी से ले सकते हैं एट डिक्सी वी सेल क्वालिटी एंड डिलीवर कॉन्फिडेंस कॉर्पोरेट टेबल हो या शादी की तक बर्थडे एनिवर्सरीज हो या हो बेबी शावर और अगर आप चाहते हैं स्टूडियो सेटअप रेंटल बैकड्रॉप हार गजरे या पार्टी के लिए फ्रेश फ्लावर अरेंजमेंट सेम कॉल आफ यूर फोन एट फोर वन सिक्स सिक्स टू एट सेवन एट फोर नाइन एस एस इवन डेको क्रिएटिव एलिगेंट एंड यूनिक गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू रेडी काफी टॉक ऑन अवार्ड एंटरटेनमेंट I am going to repeat again. I am very delighted that Park Home Builder is now licensed builder and uh, vendor in in the province of Ontario. I congratulate Ghulam Ahmed, the founding founder and president, and his brother uh, Ali Varaj uh, for achieving this uh, m- m- remarkable achievement, getting a license. And I am the director and senior vice president of planning and development. for park home so if you have any inquiry regarding building a project subdivision high high rise building and with the tenant warranty please give me a call 9057859923 or 4164513489 also for the realtors if you are that you have a client who is interested to build a custom home you can buy them a land and come to me and i can help you to build that house and if they decide to sell it again then you can list the property and make money again we can help you buy it or build it choice is your we can help today we're going to we have talk about assignment we talk about challenges we talk about sales declining in terms of sales as well as the pricing now i'm going to give you canada wide a sales projection by canadian real estate association since we are in ontario they are saying canada wide in uh, 2022 they were expecting minus 14.7% sale canada wide and in ontario we are expecting sale will reduce to 
10, 18.9% minus. And in Canada-wide, in projection for 2022, sales activity will be minus 2.8% in 2023. And in Ontario, it will be minus 4%, 4% in 2023. 23. British Columbia projections are minus 26.6. Alberta is going to positive 8.9 sale. Saskatchewan, 10.6% minus in 2022. Obviously, Manitoba, 17.7%. Ontario, minus 18.9%. Quebec, minus 10.4% 2022. And New Brunswick, minus 14.1%. This is talking about transaction. Nova Scotia, minus 17.5%. And Prince Edward Island, point, minus 54 and Newfoundland, 6% more. That means positive in 2022. And obviously, uh, in 23, British Columbia, minus 1.8. Alberta, zero, minus 0 0.7. And Saskatchewan, minus 3.2. Manitoba, minus 2.3. And Ontario, minus 4. And Quebec will be minus 3. New Brunswick will be minus 4.7, and Nova Scotia will be minus 2.3, and New Prince Edward Island plus 2.3 in 2023, and Newfoundland will be minus 0 0.8. These are the sale figures, how the, the Canadian Real Estate Association see this, and they're projecting it for 2022 as compared to 2021. 20, um, and 2023 as compared to 2022. Now, well, let's talk about the average price across Canada. So Canada across price, they're expecting from 21, to, uh, 21 we have a 21.3% increase from last year, 2020 to 2021. So they're projecting 10.8% across Canada, average price increase. Now, for 2023, it's going to be 3.1% across Canada, okay? So let's talk about British Columbia. In 2022, they're expecting 10.5% uh, positive in average price increase. Alberta, 9.2%. And Saskatchewan, 3%. Manitoba, 13.9%. And Ontario, 17.1%. And... We're going to be showing average price in, in, in Quebec. So these are the areas where you can see these uh, uh, this, uh, figures. Ontario, a projection is 5.4%. Canada-wide, 3.1% increase across Canada. So British Columbia, is minus 0 0.8. Alberta, 1.5, 4.9%. In Saskatchewan, Manitoba, 4.5. And Ontario, 5.4, 3.5. In New Brunswick, Sorry, Quebec and New Brunswick 1.8, Nova Scotia 4%, and Prince Edward 5.5, and 6.4 in Newfoundland. This is projection for 2023. You are watching Realty Coffee Talk on Awaz Entertainment. We'll see you next Thursday at 7 p.m. For now, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and also visit realtycoffeetalk.com. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.